Nat, of course it's uh, FA Cup weekend this weekend. How did you find the experience, personally, of playing against a non-league team? Yeah, it was good. It was interesting. That was my FA Cup debut, so I was excited to play. And they were good. They were good. That's the beauty of the FA Cup. You don't know what you're going to play against. So to play against Stratford was the, the intensity at the start probably took us by surprise. But as we got into it, we got comfortable, started stringing passes together. And the game changed from there, really. So but I really enjoyed playing against them. Even though they were non-league side, they gave us a good, good battle. Man, so I enjoyed it. As a fan, what are your kind of fondest memories of the FA Cup? Fondest memory was probably City winning it. I think Yaya Torre scored in the final and that was a good memory. I had a bad memory when they got beat off Wigan. That was upsetting, <laughs> but but yeah, City have done quite well in the FA Cup, so I enjoy enjoy watching it man, it's good. A lot of people kind of have the conversation, don't know whether the magic of the, the cup is still there. Is it still there for you? Yeah, hundred percent like it's so one game like there's no um, extra. Oh, well, it's one of them games where like everything you can just put you go all out because there's nothing to lose really. Like it's not a league game where the points really matter. So you can just go all guns blazing, and that's why I believe teams from like lower league will give it more against the bigger teams because it's the opportunity to to make history and that desire to make history will make anyone play harder than they've ever done before. So I believe that the magic is a hundred percent still there. I know it's a completely different different kettle of fish with Carlisle, but they are a league below us. Do you think we can take lessons from the Stratford game going up against Carlisle? Hundred percent. There's no time to rest on our laurels or think or get complacent because every team can be a challenge. So we need to up our game. We need to make sure we start well. That's the most important thing. And as we impose our game into into the the game, like from the start. I don't think that they'll be able to live with us. So if we start right and do the right things, then we have a great chance of winning the game. And the third round is, is always talked about as the one you want to get to. I'm sure your focus is solely on this game though, isn't it? Getting yeah. that win that we want. 100% man. We don't want any slip-ups or anything like that. We want to do things right and keep a good front of form up. So yeah, we're focused on the Carlisle game, yeah. And I'm sure when we do get to the third round, it's Man City where you want to be. <laughs> that'd be good, that'd be <laughs> awesome, man. But yeah, just have to do the business on Saturday and hopefully we'll get a good good draw in the coming weeks. And how, how are you feeling going into this one mentally yeah, and physically? Feeling good, looking forward to it. Always a great opportunity to, to be involved in this FA Cup run, so yeah, I'm looking forward to it. What were your thoughts when you saw the draw? Uh, it's not the, uh, the closest game that we could have had. You just got to get on with it, do you know what I mean? It's just still... Just to be in the draw for starters is, is still a great achievement. So I just want to, or all of us as a team, just want to keep going as far. It doesn't really matter who we draw. We just want to keep making sure that we get the results and go as far as we can in the competition. And I'm sure you'd love to pop up with an FA Cup goal. That would be awesome. That would be awesome. Cheers now.